And did the school have a theatrical life? The extracurricular activities at St Bees I enjoyed. Um, not so much the sports, which I disliked intensely. I never understood the sport. But the theatrical side of it, uh, every year they did a doily cart opera. That was one of the traditions. I remember Nick Kenyon was a wonderful uh, lady performer. It's all parts, very Shakespearean, all the parts were played by boys. We didn't team up with Loretto Compent or anything like that. Never at all. But uh, we did the Doily Cart Opera Company stuff. And in those days, under the strict rules, it was managed very closely by the Doily Cart. We also did Shakespeare. I remember being involved, and there yeah, are some emotional thoughts there. Uh, I enjoyed doing the practical side, working behind the scenes as assistant stage manager. One of the lay teachers was in charge of all that work. And we would help. I remember making columns out of canvas and timber for Julius Caesar, making the various props for the Gilbert and the orchestras. Two of the priests would play piano. Father Riley and Father McGarry, they played piano in duets for the Gilbert and Sullivan. And it was great fun, it really was. And we had lots of work. I lived near the school, I could participate. And once again, that was the musical side of the school and the dramatic side. I never performed myself, I was very shy and withdrawn. But it gave me a chance to excel and be part of a team. I became a good friend with Paul Berry, that was right. He was, he was Mark Antony, he was Julius Caesar. And very good friends, he fell in love with my sister. That's another dark story I won't talk about here. But I have seen him about 15 years ago since. I never quite got over that. But uh, it was a good experience. I enjoyed it. And uh, all that dramatical stuff. A chance to do other things rather than just the curriculum. St. B's, it could be criticised for not being red hot on the academic success, but it gave us more. It gave us more balance and different subjects, different experiences. And I'm grateful for that.